Hey everyone, so today we're working on my 2001 Chevy Silverado. We'll be going ahead and installing these Pioneer speakers in the front door. The uh, model number is TS-A650R. Um, I got the driver's side in and it sounds pretty good, so hopefully the passenger side will go a little bit smoother since I kind of know the trick as to how to do everything. Here's the speaker that we'll be going ahead and installing. It comes with these little decorative grates that we won't be using since I will be tucking it behind the actual speaker grate in the door. So let's get to putting these in. First things first, gotta get this door panel off and then I will uh, pull out the speaker and uh, show you guys how I install these. So we've already gone ahead and done a door panel disassembly in, my, in another video of mine. So I'm just gonna quickly go over this. You're gonna pop this piece of panel off you're going to pop the door lock off, you're going to pop the, um, the window switch and door lock switch panel off, you're going to pop this panel off, and there is a 7mm screw hiding behind this door pull, and there's going to be another 7mm screw hiding behind this uh, panel, the switch panel here. After you're done doing all that, this whole door panel will slide right off. You're gonna have to remember to disconnect your light here, and there's a tweeter speaker in here as well. You also have to disconnect before you can pull all this off. Also, you will have to disconnect the cables from the switch panel. So let's get to it. So the door panel's off. Uh, here's that little tweeter speaker. It actually wasn't even connected. Uh, looks like the screws that hold it on, um, the plastic bits that the screw goes through is broken. So what I'll probably end up doing is hot gluing this into the door panel before I put it back on and then connect it. So the way to pull the speaker out is there's a tab up here and you just press down on it and then the whole speaker assembly falls out. It's pretty slick actually. I really like this. Just like that. We go ahead and disconnect it. Press down on this tab. All right. And there's our speaker. Next, we it's okay that you rip this. We're actually going to have to uh, cut this piece of felt out because the tweeter on the Phillips speaker actually sticks past this. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna pry this plastic bit off of the speaker. Now this is glued onto the speaker, but uh, the glue on here is pretty old. If you just pry gently in a couple spots of the screwdriver, you'll break the bond of the glue. Or you can just apply a little bit of heat with a heat gun or hair dryer, whatever you may have. Um, and just pry it up that way. So, let's go ahead. See, you can already hear the glue s separating. Let's go around. It's good. And off the bracket comes. Now, we need this speaker for one last piece. And that piece is actually this. So I'm not going to be cutting the stock uh, vehicle harness. I'm actually going to be removing this, uh, desoldering these two wires, and then soldering in the new harness for the, uh, for the speaker. I like it. It's a lot cleaner. And again, you don't cut into your stock harness. So we just go ahead and peel this back here. Um, again, these speakers are going to be trash. Uh, if you want to save them for something, then try to be a bit more careful. But for me, they're trash. So we just go ahead and take our diagonal cutters, clip those. And I just have the small screwdriver. You can use a pick or whatever you got. And there's just a little button you got to press right here. And this connector will slide out. There we go. Now we have one harvested um, speaker pigtail. Next, we have our speaker mount. 
So we're just going to take a knife, cut that. And now that's all prepped for our new speaker. So I've got the soldering iron heated up and I got the connector just very loosely put it in the vise. We're just going to heat the solder up and I'm going to pull the wire out with my diagonal cutters. All right, there's one. And there's two. So that's kind of being held in place. We're going to go ahead and solder that up. Got me some nice Radio Shack rosin core solder. I'm using a 40 watt soldering iron, which is quite a lot for this, but it does get things rather hot and it's nice. Perfect. Fantastic. Now I'll let that cool off and we'll go ahead and install it. So we're back at the car. I'm just going to go ahead and plug in our made harness. All right, that's plugged into the factory harness. Go ahead and plug this in. There we are. You want to be able to give these a little tug, and they're not going to fall out. So, tuck all this harness back in there. And you may think that you need to modify this, but you really don't. It, you just got to really push hard and it will fit in the stock location. So go ahead, just feed it back in there. Now what I did with the other side is I peeled back this plastic and just made sure that the wires that uh, are connected to the speaker aren't being pinched. So just kind of give her the old reach around. Just make sure that your wires aren't pinched. Feels good. It's good. All right. So now we just go ahead and really push on this. And I used a big screwdriver. There we go. That's all done, easy peasy. Now, here's that tweeter. I thought I could, uh, I thought the tweeter actually mounted this way, but it actually mounts in like that. So what I'll end up doing is you can just take this speaker grate out by bending all these tabs. Let's pop this guy out. Out comes the speaker grate. Now I know I said I was gonna go ahead and uh, hot glue this back in, but I figured if I actually tape it, it'd be a lot better for uh, if I ever change these tweeters out, I don't have to cut the hot glue or do anything. All I have to do is cut the tape. So first we're just gonna go ahead and prep the surface. This is just some isopropyl alcohol with water that I have mixed. Now we have our surfaces all clean. Just when you go ahead and install this, um, just make sure the connector is facing up towards the grab handle, to the top, towards the top. Just go ahead and line it as best as you can. Go ahead and get yourself some good, strong duct tape. I've got some Gorilla tape here. This stuff is strong. I fixed a dryer with this stuff. Still. Is that dryer is still working and that was 
probably six or seven years ago. <laughs> And there we have it. The tweeter is all taped in. Go ahead and put our speaker grate back in and then we'll put this slip this door panel back on. All right guys, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I uh, hope you're able to take something away from this video. Maybe you're working on your Chevy truck and putting speakers in it and you know you don't know what to do or you're looking at getting some speakers and you know you didn't know how hard or easy the job might be i hope it helped uh please uh let me know and take care